Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I am a pediatric physical therapist. I'm here with Jessica Kent, and we're doing coordination testing. And graciously, Jessica volunteered to do coordination testing. I think that was before she realized that she was going to have to do this one. This exercise is ridiculously hard. OK. <laughs> uh, she has aptitude cerebral palsy. And um, classically, with cerebral palsy, uh, the, dis the further out you go on the body, the harder the control is. So you're f what we're about to do is um, touching f each finger, each thumb to each finger on the way up and each, each finger on the way down. Typically, you do this a set going up and down. That would be one, two, ah, three. Yeah, I'm, having, I'm having a hard time myself. <laughs> three. Um, but this is going to be super hard. So I'm not going to count sets. I'm going to count each finger tap. Um, when the camera was not rolling, we realized it was almost impossible for her to touch her thumb to her pinky. So we're going to, instead of starting off with I'm pinky, uh, on, instead of starting off with pinky, we're going to start off at pointer finger, which you have uh, a little bit better chance at. So it's. On this hand, yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to do but this hand first. I, uh, I have uh, to cheat. Yeah, okay. So. All right. So it sounds like there's going to be cheating. <laughs> okay. Um, Cheating award. So one of the things I should say that if a client's, we try this and they're unable to do it, then you just need to make notations of, of the accommodations, not cheating, accommodations <laughs> that are made to be able to accomplish the task. So um, we're going to go for 15 seconds. We're going to see with cheating how many, starting with pointer finger instead of pinky. Um, this is more occupational and physical. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? <laughs> On your mark. Get set. Let's Let's, start with pointer or pinky? Yeah, I want you to start with pointer because that's okay. one you can do on your own without the, the cheat. On your mark, get set. Let's go. One, two, three, and pinky, pinky, pinky. Four. Touch pinky again. Five. Oh, we got five touches. That was good. That was great. And better than nothing. All right, I'm writing down five finger touches. All right. Not sets. Yeah, five, oh, you're right. Finger touches. Five finger touches. Finger touches. You're absolutely right. And that was the dominant hand. Your dominant hand. All right, you're actually better at this with your left hand. This it, is the hand you write with? It, yeah, it looks like I'm more, my fingers are more controller or um, my thumb will go in more. Will, with Both on the side. Um, do I need to back up a little, or you think this? No, is... you're fine. Now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's have left. Why am I doing pinky or pointer? Oh, you're starting at pinky if you can. Okay. All right. On your mark. Get set. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Touch that one again. Five. Five. Very nicely done. So I'm writing down five touches. Is it something you can work toward if you, if you, you know, feel like you need more movement? But now, classically, with this test, after I did right hand and left hand, I'd do both hands simultaneously. I just think that's too much to ask. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So it would be something that maybe if your coordination got better, we could do right. in the future, right? right. Um, I hope this was helpful. I appreciate you being willing to try something that was so hard. Yeah, no until you until you try. That's right. I hope this is helpful. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.